back then when I was doing those videos, I was able to read my emails a little bit more quickly and keep up with it. Now, I just, you know, with over 120,000 students and I have a YouTube channel audience too, I, I personally cannot keep up with the correspondence. I wish I could because I love it. Sometimes it moves me to tears because of the joy I get by hearing these stories and also the stories that people are struggling. Not every one of my students do exceedingly well. I want to be up, and, up front and honest and tell you that. I've said it in the past. It's not like something I want to just confess to you now. I've always said this. This is a very difficult business to do well in because you're competing against yourself. You're misinformed. You're giving so much improper information and there's so many people out there masquerading as someone that knows what they're doing. And all of that is a disadvantage for you. And it's almost like a landmine field laying in front of you. And you really need to know where to step because if you step the wrong place at the wrong time, it's over. And if you do it enough times, no matter how strong you feel about conquering this and knowing that there's going to be periods of adversity, at some point, even the best of you will want to throw in the town quit. I'm here to tell you, don't. Don't ever quit. It doesn't cost you anything to watch these videos except for the time that you invest. If you keep digging into them and keep practicing what I tell you to practice and keep studying and looking for the things I'm pointing to, it will happen for you. It will unlock your understanding and one day, what day, I don't know, but it's always different for somebody else. And I have students from my 2016 group that still cannot make money. I'm being absolutely honest, but I also have students that just came into this final group in 2021 that are literally killing it because they were trading with information they learned here, but it was hit and miss, hit and miss. Now they're doing exceedingly well. Was it because they joined the mentorship? Probably. Or was it because they put enough time in beyond what they probably thought was going to be required? I think it's that. So. Don't give up. Don't let someone else convince you that you're wasting your time doing this. The worst thing you can do is tell your friends and your family what you're doing. Don't even do that because they're not going to understand. And they're going to be asking you, usually at the wrong times, hey, how you doing your so-and-so? And it'll be a period where you're struggling. And they'll be like, well, I'm glad I didn't listen to you. How's that going to make you feel? It's going to make you question whether or not what you're doing is a viable means of pursuit to a better life when I'm telling you it absolutely is this is the last bastion folks look around I'm not going to describe what I'm really hinting at but all you have to do is look around every form of employment is being ravaged right now it's going to get worse do you have a hedge against that do you have a way for you to feed you and your family without having to leave your house or hold your hand out for a government handout? No subsidies required. No leaving your home. As long as you have an internet connection and equity in the account, you can eat. That's where we're at now. It's not about getting rich. About making sure that you can eat, that you can meet your bills, make your ends meet. So it's my prayer and heartfelt desire and passion to, to inspire you to do well. And hopefully I've given you some tools here to, to do that, or at least begin the journey and working towards it. You're always in my prayers. I'm always thinking about all of you. Even I don't know you. I've never laid my eyes on you face to face and never shook any of your hands. I'm rooting for you. And you'll get it. Just keep plugging.